Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Matthew 6, 3. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. I've struggled with this. Because in certain career fields, they want to know what you are doing for the people around you. And I've always tried to keep that secret. That's something I've always tried to keep to my heart. But in order to get ahead in certain career fields and in certain ministries and, and be board members of things, people need to know what you're doing. And that's I've always struggled with that, you know. So Matthew 6, 1 and 2, it says, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. And then we go back to Matthew 6, 3. But when you give to needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Matthew 6, 4, so that your giving may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Now, I think what the Lord wants us to do is make sure our heart is right. See, sometimes what we're considering our left hand is actually other parts of us may be our left hand. The ministry may be part of your left hand. The career may be part of your left hand as well. And though you may not want to, sometimes the Lord says there's a time for every season under heaven. Remember, Psalm 119, 160 says, The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous rules endures forever. So it's the sum of the word. So in Matthew 5, 16, it says, You are the salt of the earth, but salt has lost its taste. How shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives lights to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So this one says, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works. So the thing that you need to keep in mind and sometimes the Lord wants you to keep things between you and that person. But sometimes the Lord wants you to let people see your good works. Because if the good stay quiet and nobody knows what the good are actually doing, then the evil can take over. They can lead. They'll be like, well, look at this person. He's doing this, this and this. But you're staying quiet. And the evil can take over. They can rise up. It is not good. It is not good. So the, what I've learned from this is I must let the Lord determine what I should pronounce to the public and what I should keep quiet. But I think the biggest thing the Lord wanted me to know was that my heart was in the right place. That I wanted to stay quiet. That I do not want awards. That I do not want everybody to know what I'm doing when I had a heart like that then he's like okay Warren I need you to broadcast a little bit I need you to rise up so you can help others so that you can get in places to help others that's what it is it's the same way with me wanting to teach or preach I did not want to teach I did not want to preach I want to hold it all in and he says there you go that's the right mindset you don't have pride in that area. I need to rise you up so you can preach, so you can teach. So there's a season, there's a time for every season. And whatever the Lord tells you about your good works, do it. I've also known people who have, who have done a lot of healings and things. At least they say they have. And they broadcast it to everyone. Oh yeah, I'm about to 
about to exercise two demons tonight and do this tonight and all this. And they would go around and they would brag about it. So I've seen the other, other circumstances where people were trying to sow their righteousness off to others. And I don't think it was of the Lord. I really don't. Because every time the Lord healed someone, he would tell them, go and tell no one. And they would proclaim it. But, like I said, the Lord knows all. He guides all. And sometimes he wants you to let people know what you're doing. Other times, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Don't be so like the hypocrites praying in the synagogue, out, out in the streets, long prayers. Don't be like that. So I think we have to listen to the Lord. But no, whatever we're doing, does it make sense? Does it make sense? When I, when I reveal something that I've done for another person, does it make sense into propelling Christ's kingdom? Or is it just to boost up who I am to someone? Does it make sense? Because the biggest light that we can show into the world is loving others. The fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, mercy. That's the biggest lights we can show to someone. And then the Lord allows us to have time to preach the gospel to him and show him, show himself to him. That's the biggest lights. It's not so much what we've done for others or what we've done for charity. The biggest light is shining with the fruits of the spirit that he has given us. So always think, does it make sense what I'm telling people? Does it make sense to tell them about somebody that I healed? If it don't make sense, and it won't, the person cannot see or recognize that, why are we exposing that to them? Maybe we should just show them love. Maybe we should just give them words of wisdom that they can see, things that they can see in their life. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Please guide us on when to shine our light before others and when not to. For we know that you rise up people sometimes by what we're doing. Sometimes people need to see what we're doing to know that we're trustworthy, Father. And in other times we need to keep it in secret. It's just between us and that person. Lead and guide us into that. In Yeshua's name we pray, amen. Goodbye.